kids, Marshall here with a new video transmission. I really hope you're excited for today's episode of Build a Computer. Because today, we're going to learn about one of the parts that your computer relies on the most. But before we get into that, first let me say hi to my little cousin Sydney. I love you and I can't wait to see you again soon. We'll definitely have to get our dogs to play together. <laughs> yes, that's right. Would you like to see Scooby? Okay, sure. Scooby, come here. Come here, baby. Hi. Say hi to Scooby. Hi, baby boy. Hi. Yes, he loves daddy so much. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. He's a computer dog too. He, he likes everything about computers and learning about computers. Look at him. Okay, Scooby, back to bed. Bed. All right, kids, we're having way too much fun already and the lesson hasn't even started. Let's get back on track here. First things first, if you haven't seen my past two video transmissions, please pause here and go to this channel and check them out. So far, we have learned about RAM and the motherboard, which you'll find out are just like the short-term memory and the backbone in you and me. And today, it only makes sense to talk about your computer's long-term memory. <laughs> Get it? In my last video, we learned about the short-term memory. So today, is gonna be the long term. Otherwise known as the computer's hard disk drive or solid state drive, but is still important to keep, save, and use when necessary. So kids, let's think. What type of information have you stored and remembered for a long time? Start thinking now. Hmm. Hmm. I've got it. Something that I've remembered for a very long time is the words to my favorite song. What about you? <laughs> nice, I knew you could do it. Well, just like us, our computers use a hard disk drive or a solid state drive to store things like pictures, videos, music, and even homework. Now, let's talk about those two words, hard disk drive and solid state drive. A hard disk drive, or HDD, is an older form of storing data. Think of it like one of those really, really old record players. As the vinyl spins, the needle reads it and plays the music. Well, similar to that, on an HDD, when in use, there's a disc that spins really, 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 really fast. And a mechanical arm reads that information to your computer. And it's because of all of that, why it's such an outdated method of storing things on your computer. A lot more common and updated method would be to use a solid state drive, or for short, SSD. The difference between these two, the difference between these two is that an SSD doesn't have any moving parts, none at all. Like the disc on the HDD. An SSD actually uses flash memory, which if you want to compare an HDD and an SSD, it's like a turtle being in a race with the flash. When the turtle takes two steps, the flash would have already lapped the earth twice. An SSD 
can read information to your computer so much faster without a huge disk slowing it down. But don't get confused. Both the SSD and the HDD provide the same function for your computer. Can you guess what that function is? Come on kids, I know you got it in you. Tell me what an HDD and an SSD, although two different methods of storing things on your computer, both have one thing in common. Did you say long-term memory? If you said long-term memory, you'd be correct. And no matter which one you use, always make sure to monitor how much space it has left. All right, kids, all right. Listen, I think here is a perfect place to stop and take a break. Go get some snacks and a drink, and when you come back, I'll show you how to install an SSD. See you soon. Whoa, let's focus. Okay, here we go. First, we're gonna remove the mount. And in this specific PC Cases, it came with an extra special gift. Inside, I found cable management tools and some screws. And here is how it's supposed to look after it is properly mounted. This could also easily fit in HDD. Now that we're done, let's slide it back in there. Make sure it clicks in place so you know it's secure. Now we're gonna take our SATA cable and connect it straight into the SSD. This cord is how the motherboard and the SSD will communicate with each other. For now, let's stuff some of these cords back in here. But that open space that you see right there, that's where our power supply is going to go. I'll show you in another episode. Now let's get back to class. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That was a lot of information. But it wasn't really that hard to install the SSD as we may have seen. What do you think? Do you think that now, after watching this video, you'll be able to install your very own solid state drive? <laughs> I knew you could do it. Go to your nearest electronic store, get one, and see if you can replace one with your mom and dad today. Other than that, what did we learn? We learned that an SSD, solid state drive, and an HDD, hard disk drive, both do the same thing. They store items on your computer for long term. We learned that they both can store pictures, music, videos, documents, and homework. And you should always monitor how much space you have left on your hard disk drive or solid state drive to make sure you're not filling it up all the way. Because if it gets too full and you have something that you really need to save, you won't be able to do it. <laughs> well, that's all I have for today, kids. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. I'll see you soon.